fellas. What's going on? These are new glasses. Yeah, these are these are they're new glasses. glasses. They're they're newer they're glasses. Glass. I don't wear glasses a lot, but um, cool. When I do, do you like them? I like them. Yeah. Thanks, man. They're, I gave them to. They're uh, they're, they're uh, you know what? Yeah, they are Tom. Ford's. I gave them. You to did you. give them to me. Yes. They are sure. very very nice. Thank you so much. Yeah, Andy gave them. I've to got me. a. I've got a they silver are. frame one that like that. that oh I'm yeah, get yeah, eyes. I like. Them. I gave them to you. You know what's cool? They have this little. No, you suggested for me to buy them. Common. I like these little like uh, these little uh, what are they called? Fake the, the uh, ivory. Yeah, they're not real. It's bone. Ivory. It's fake bone. 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 Fake yeah. bone. What's going on? What's going on, guys? Another early morning. Another early, early morning. <laughs> yeah. Good morning, America, and good throughout morning, the world. Good, good morning. morning. We yeah. talked the whole night through good morning. Well, good, good morning, morning to, to you and you and you and you. Good morning. It's about good afternoon. Good morning. Actually. Uh, it's great to be outside. I, good morning. Good morning to you. Oh my God. Huh. When you said nothing. I lived okay. with this. Ah, lucky you. Lucky you, pal. We shaped you. What are we talking about today? What are we talking about today? I think we should talk We're about, about uh, responsibility. Oh. Mm. Yeah. You know, I feel a lot of responsibility. Um, and I always have, being the oldest. So um, you are the, I set you are the, the tone most for responsibility with responsible you guys. Responsible one. And uh, I, I took it personally. Actually, it was a burden. I got to be honest with you. It was a real burden because I always felt like I wanted to do things. And in a weird way, the silver lining to that is that it kept me from really like just being reckless. I was never reckless. I never was reckless with myself. I was never reckless with my responsibilities uh, for the most part because I felt, you know, like. I had to be an example for you guys, and I took that seriously, you know, especially with you, because the age gaps are pretty wide, and when you came along, Matt and I were just kind of hurling you around. Remember, we were carrying him around so much as a kid? Remember, mom was like, hey, put him down. He's got to walk. <laughs> yeah, you walked very late. Yes. Yeah. He did everything else before. Everything was super early. Oh, he could early. talk, tell jokes. But he couldn't walk. He couldn't walk. No. I know. Mm. Goody, 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 goody. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you do. You go, goody, 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 goody. Because he couldn't say Joey, so it yeah. was goody. Yeah. Goody, goody, goody. Do you remember goody, Pop? Goody. Remember when he would talk to Pop Pop? Oh, God. He'd be halfway in the middle of something, and Pop would turn to Matt and I, and he would literally go like this. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He would. He would. Because <laughs> he would be just rapid fire. <laughs> Pop up, and then I went to the store, and Pop up, he'd be like, uh-huh. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So good. Oh, my gosh, Pop. Uh, So crazy. Anyway, but yes, responsibility. We're talking about our grandfather. Our grandfather. Who was the coolest guy ever. Yeah, Harry Shaw. Yeah. Harry Shaw, man. They don't make him like that, I'll tell you. Nope. He's uh, awesome. Part of the greatest generation and um, just an amazing guy. Fought a war. Yep. Yep. Lost his brother. Yep. In the war. In the war. Went through the Great Depression. I mean... Phew, man, put himself stuff. through college while he was the father with two I kids. Mean, it's a whole Went to war game. at 17. Yep, yeah. yep. whole yep. different ballgame. Yeah, just a whole, you know, you look at these kids today, and oh I mean, it's God. all relative, but I see like, you know, oh my God, my TikTok is not working. And it's like, you think about what 17-year-olds. Try the South Pacific. Yeah, yeah. 1941. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> on a, on a, on a yeah. submarine yeah. tender, yeah. okay, which my pop was stationed That's at in f- the South Pacific for 17 yeah. months, stealing, okay? Stealing and. He used to tell the stories. You remember, they would they would have what was sort of like a tang. Remember that raspberry? Mm-hmm. It was like a raspberry powder, raspberry lemonade powder that they put into the water on the ship to just make it palatable. Mm-hmm. And they found a way to distill Still. the the uh, torpedo fuel. fuel. Yeah, the yeah. fuel and the and torpedoes. And they t- t- distilled it and mixed it with the raspberry lemonade powder, and they right. made it was shots. Orange. It was an orange. Powder. Orange, but it, yeah, orange. orange that's right. That's right. right. And they made alcohol. Powder. And they made alcohol. Yeah, yeah they made like moonshine shots. and torpedo fuel. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I know, it's pretty sweet. A lot of time on a ship. When yeah, you're remember he was out at sea. He, was, he went to certain ports. That remember he said that oh, yeah. I'm not allowed back there. I'll never be allowed back at that port. He was yeah. <laughs> well, he, has he wasn't a, he allowed has a, back in a large yeah. wound in his back. He got yeah. stabbed. He got yeah. stabbed in a bar yeah. fight. Yeah, yeah, over there. Yep. In, I think yeah. Mexico. Yep. He said, well, they were they were targets because you know they yeah. were they would get off the boat and they would they would they would be presumed to be you know uh, targets with their yep. whites you know and yep. their and their navy whites. So anyway, but uh, amazing guy. So that's where. That was that was so funny, but I I felt Talk that responsibility. responsibility. I that felt that responsibility. Era yeah, of response. I mean, that's just another. I don't think we could. Well, we can probably even wrap they, our heads around it. You know what? To their to their look, it, it it was actually to their benefit in a lot of ways that you weren't a kid at seventeen or eighteen. Like, and you aren't. I mean, you're an adult at eighteen, right? And you weren't a kid, and they took that seriously. Like today, I feel like it's still. Are you chewing? 
gum again. Yeah, okay. that's what I said. These mounds of gum on this paper. See, yeah, on on the gum, on the gum. Yeah. As the seasons go on, we're just, it's going to be like a paperweight. Um, no, but it's just like there was no excuses. You just did it. And I feel like it's so crazy because I feel like they came back from that from that war and from the way they grew up and going through the Great Depression and everything. And then just to their testament, they wanted to make it easier for their kids. And so they made it easier. But that wasn't necessarily better. And what happens? Every generation now has tried to make it easier and easier and more accessible and more for, for their children. And now we have kids that, you know, a lot of them don't know how to do anything for themselves. 16, 17 year olds. I mean, they literally don't know how well, to do anything. Also, and, I feel like it's, it's, it's just a crazy time. To, to your point of not being able to do anything, I feel like there's also like a, a, a an unachievable type it's like everything like when you when you look on instagram and these kids see these like these lifestyles and these events and these lives and the pace and like it's just an unachievable uh goal really to yeah. to to live it and and maintain it's and sustain that level fabricated and it's not real i can't imagine growing up and seeing that as uh the foundation of what you know i think is the norm that's yeah. got to be uh See, treacherous just i think we have a big responsibility that we are missing right now when we it do. comes to kids and social media we do. I, I keep we saying do. it i know i think tiktok i have really be re, re looked at i don't think kids should just be exposed to this i think tiktok with the algorithms that are in place right now will be equivalent to allowing kids to smoke i really do i think that's the way it'll be looked at yeah. those algorithms will be so like a, 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 akin to the same ads in the '40s that said, "Pregnant, feeling smoke, smoke, a little stressed <laughs> out, <laughs> right, right, right. light up, folks." They had pregnant women smoking. Completely healthy. Yes, yes. I, yes. Honestly, I you really, might be right about that. Really, well, do. look, there's if you actually go and just oh. if you go and research it, it and it, figure out what what it is that yeah, they're doing with the information, yeah, how yeah, they're getting it, yeah. and how it specifically We're, targets. American well, we will children. be promoting this and it's show ar- on look, TikTok. It's already been it's already been proven. It's already been proven that you know that that um, you know it, it, that certain types are targeting other types, and you know social media is predators and 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 drugs are being funneled that way. It's a very look. There is a massive responsibility we have with any privilege, with any opportunity comes responsibility, right? And we have a responsibility to educate the people that it's affecting the most, and that is our young people, you know? Um, I mean, screen time. They get up, they're on the screen. They go to sleep, they're on the screen. I, it's unreal. I can't imagine growing up like that. There are, they're losing the ability to relate in person, you know? Um, nothing you know, baffles me more than tables of young people today that are all on their phone. They're out together, but they're all on their phones. They're not actually... You can see it. I mean, this is why I love... I mean, I love it. And it's look, scary, but this is why I love the metaverse. They are, they are, they you are see tools. where it's going. Wait, metaverse? Oh, yeah. No, you see... You can see... When you see all these kids That's on their phones... even worse. Yeah, I know, but this is where it's going. I don't want a virtual... So now we'll be on our phones, but we'll all be at our own house. <laughs> no, but here's the thing. In a virtual place. Uh, what? So now we're not even going out. Check out my new house. On our own My virtual devices. house. I love, I love this virtual house. Here's, here's I mean, a, I'm all for virtual reality and gaming and stuff, dude, no, no, but I don't want to go to a mall and like buy a, a, a digital pair of sneakers. That to me is... Yeah. is Check weird. out these AJ1s, baby. Yeah. Where? In the real life? No, no, no. No, no it's this barcode. No, 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 if you scan this barcode, yeah. though, it'll take you... Think about it like... No, think about it like this. Instead of going on Amazon. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. You're going to go into a warehouse... That has all those distributors that pay, that sell to Amazon. Yeah, there. So there's, it, it eliminates Amazon. It eliminates the middleman. So you're getting what whole, the? you're for everything. But like, but actually getting the goods. Actually getting the goods. It eliminates How do I get the goods? Because you're going straight to the it, Web three. It's all the oh same God. thing as DeFi. No. Fine. De- no. Okay. Not not these on are this. huge topics. Not, not here. Not terrible. Look, man, we're trying to not like this. People are just starting not to tune like in and really get excited about this what thing. Where movie is that from? Not like this. No. Not like this. Wait. Oh, wait. Wait. Vanilla what Sky. No. 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 What is it? No. Come on. Not like this. Not not like, no. Like That's a weird accent. James Bond. No. 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 What was no. it? It's just a girl, blonde, bleach blonde. Yeah, hair. I know. Not I remember. Like I can see it in my not mind. Like this. <laughs> Matrix. Yes. Did was it this? Yes. It was that, wasn't it? I was gonna say Lethal Weapon two. Anyway. Martin Reeves. Martin. Do you know, okay, perfect example. Ah, Speaking of pop, do you know how pop used to say, I don't understand this generation. Our grandfather. Just, just for that's what's going to be us about context. these kids. Yeah. 
because you can see the way that's going, guys. It's, I know. it's just just the way that it's going. Kids are not going to be getting off the screens. They're not. The babies are being raised with it now. Their thumbs are changing shape. Yeah. No, literally. I know. Two generations from now, we have their physical weird thumbs. <laughs> their like physical biology. Four foot long thumb. Really dexterous. Changing. Dude, did you see her Super thumbs? Super dexterity. <laughs> that's what done. Did you see her thumbs, man? She is hot. Look at those thumbs. <laughs> I bet she can <laughs> text three hundred words. Yeah. Do you notice she can how? Scroll like you an notice animal. how, by the way, like 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 the the um sort of like the apex of phones was how small you could get it. Remember, mm -hmm. like the early aughts, it was like it was like, dude, did you see my new phone? It's the greatest phone ever. Check that. Hello, it's like this little <laughs> phone. Then it became how big you can get the phone. I well, mean, because they're so trying... you're gonna need these thumbs because this phone's gonna be like, yeah, I'm just gonna dial something on my smartphone, and this huge thumb is gonna come up. I mean, why is it so you big? Need to yeah, through this. because they're trying to converge between <laughs> to scroll this a, la a yeah. device that's c capable has laptop capability. I hate it. Also I don't want it. I just, in your I just, oh gosh. Oh yeah, but that's the whole. The, the screens are gonna pop up like Star Wars. That's yeah, gonna, you'll have content. It'll all be. Yeah. I don't even. I think it'll be all your own. And do you, do you hear the way your own virtual like, to bring him up again? Elon's building. Oh boy. The um, the new Web three experience with even Twitter. So it's I totally fangirl for Elon. Yeah, 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 yeah for sure. Like space oh my god, and Elon. There yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, well, it's Elon. It's no, no, it's but, Elon. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> No, but no. So wait, you guy have wings. The way he described it, the way he it's described it. The or Elon. <laughs> he's just he's Roman. taking out Keanu's face <laughs> and put in Elon. You superimposed Elon on Keanu yeah. for he's God's got this, sake. This is like right. draped white. It's like the, the, the no, last the Roman Supper. emperors. Yeah, yeah like Aristotle, Jesus. but it's yeah. just Elon's Elon. Face. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right. check it out. Hold on. So lovers, lovers out. out yeah. Any, go ahead. Go ahead. No, you go. You go. No, anybody. If there's anybody out there that could that could. Give us an artist a, a rendering. Rendition of yes. Elon as either Constantine, Constantine or, Aristotle, or Michael, yeah. just some really ripped with wings, godly figure. Yeah. Matt would hang it on his wall. If you give us that. Tag us, we'll tag you, and we'll. we'll that is a challenge to all of our lovers you out there. If, you should see if you could commission Beeple to make one for you uh, of Elon. Yeah, it'll Who? be worth like 20 million bucks. Who? Who? That's one of the top you know, artists. Who's people? People. People Magazine? People. B, B, B. What is Beeple? Really? Beeple magazine? No, Dude, not, no, 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 like, no, 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 no. It's, it's not magazine. Beeple magazine. Beeple. Yeah, you heard of it. I've been on the cover of Beeple magazine like 10 times. I'm sure you have, dude. Yeah. It's like when you go to New York. Everybody reads it's, Beeple. When you, go, when you go to New York and you buy a Prava yeah. bag. Yeah. You know I know, I mean? yeah. Prava. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. a Folex, baby. It's my Folex. It's a Folex. What's a Folex? A it's, a, Rolex. It's, it's, a, it's a beautiful. He's an artist. It's like a Rolex. He's an artist. Mm -hmm. And when the NFT. I know Beeple. Art craze occurred because that's what for some reason everybody seems to think NFT technology is. It's just art on internet. But that's just our first experience with the technology. Is it happened to be in the art form, but he was an artist and he was the first one to actually cross over successfully into NFT. And his okay. first work of art sold for sixty million. And the $60 one million what dollars? Beeples. Dollars. Dollars. Beeples. Oh, Beeples. <laughs> what does that convert to to dollars? Three bucks. The guy oh, has. So it's useless. The guy has the made. Fucking beeples are <laughs> useless. Oh, I need somebody's phone. I want to make sure. Get out of here. You're not touching my phone. Touching my phone. No, give me. I, I don't it's have a real phone, phone not a virtual one. Grimy hands. Come on, give me the phone. Open it up. Unlock it. Uh, well, it's only. It's only. Unlock it. It's got this anyway, the point is, is that no, no, he's it only made. Works he made. My face. He made one of Elon. It was similar to that. It was some crazy thing with like all this weird stuff coming out of Elon and stuff. And uh, I kind of remember that with the dog. Hey, with, with, sold with, for with, a with long. The dog. No, it was, he was asked for a lot of money. It was, a ripped, it was a ripped Elon. It was a ripped Elon with with with, with, yeah. with the dog with sheep or something. I was right, wasn't with it? Elon with sheep no. lovers. <laughs> Elon Musk with a herd of sheep. That's number two. I'm just trying to make. I'm challenging you, all of you. All right. <laughs> this would make my. Day. We will. We will. Oh, I, we will hang it ear. in the studio. We will put it up yeah. behind Matt yeah, in the studio. People. I was right. You were right. Yeah, it is people. It's people. Uh, anyway, <laughs> it's people. You sound like Dennis Miller. Remember old Dennis Miller? Oh, uh, hey, we got a lot of people. Uh, all right, but uh, yeah, no. Yeah. So that was just the the. Okay. Right, anyway, you could he would he commissions cool. them all the time. But if he com my point is, if he were to commission one for you, you're you're golden. Musk gonna, is yeah, Constantine. Maybe we could get well, maybe. while while you're at it, maybe we could Banks Banksky to, to, to also do it. Banksky. 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 Banksy. Banksy. Bankman. Banksky. No, Banksy. Who's Banksy? Banksy. Who's Banksy? He's an Bank, artist. Banksky. He's an artist. Bank, he, he remains Bankley? faceless and he does. What is he remains faceless. On the streets and he's become famous for, you know, 
Yeah. Banksy? Banksy, yeah. Banksy? Banksy. 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 But he does make art, art and sell <laughs> it. Oh, it's like Starsky and Hutch. Yeah, Banksy and Beeple. You know. Starsky and These Hutch. These guys are actually really I had a point so and something to good to say, but just... I've lost it now. Murtog and Riggs. I don't even know what we're Banksy talking about. Banksy and Beeple. Oh, that doesn't have the same ring as to it as a... Like a 70s like action. <laughs> when the streets get rough. <laughs> you need Banksy and Beeple. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> They're going to kick your ass in the virtual world. <laughs> Watch them walk into this coffee shop and use sheep to buy a coffee. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Banks and people. Wow. Yeah. Right. There you go. You learn something new every day. Yeah, anyway, I didn't even want to learn is, that. But, you know. Mm-hmm. Anyway. I wish I could get you guys into that this, nothing. this whole decentralized world that's occurring right now. Decent- I love the sound of it. A decentralized world yeah. where nothing exists. Seriously, Tron? Yeah. That's what it comes no. Like. It does it's sound like that. Really You're going to have these weird Welcome pods. Welcome to the grid. Yeah, I know. Or circuits are like freeways. Yes. Decentralized freeways. Yes. I tried to picture a world. Yeah. What was it? Without without roads. I don't know. Something yeah, cool. Yeah, he was yeah. great. But we were going. We, we don't, don't need, need roads. roads. Where's that from? <laughs> ah, yeah. Doc, are you telling me this thing's nuclear? Precisely, Marty. Ah, great, great we're not going to have enough space to get up to 88 miles an hour. Well, we're going. We don't need roads. Oh. Love it. Um, it's just about time for your medication, Joe. It's about, I already took it. Oh. It's going to set in in a minute. Okay. <laughs> like, oh. Well. Well, Joe's good. <laughs> ah, people. Oh. People. People. Put him to sleep, will you? Banksy, Banksy, Banksy. I feel like a rain man. You turn me into rain man. So 10,000 10, 10, Banksy's, Banksy's, Banksy's. Uh, it's just so ridiculous. This is conversation is terrible. <laughs> we started off with, with, <laughs> with responsibility. We ended up talking about two weird artists that I never even heard of before. <laughs> and you're telling me you learned something today, didn't you, Joe? Yeah. All right, world. Did you hear about Banksy? I mean, <laughs> Banksy. I'm gonna go to the Banksy. I gotta go to the bank ski and get some beeples. I mean, it's terrible, you know? Oh, God. 60 it's million. <laughs> 60 million until you convert them to bank skis, and they're not worth that much. I would keep them in beeple form. Oh, God. <laughs> non fungible tokens and everything's in the metaverse. Oh, Fantastic. Don't Count don't me out. Don't forget. I'm gonna be on an island next to Johnny Depp just drinking wine. Well, the crazy thing is $100 million. Yeah. I actually am a part of this community. $100 million in debt. Uh, Meta Kevin. Island. What? Check it out. Meta Island. Oh, God. You, I have my own Are you island. Are doing it again? I have my own island. You're doing it again. In the meta world. You yeah. have your own island in the meta world. Yeah. <laughs> it's, Matt, it's great. I can't wait to visit it, man. Well, I think I, I think digital real estate will become more, uh, become more, you know, lucrative than, than regular old land. <laughs> Got a lot of digital real estate. <laughs> what a portfolio. This is a portfolio. Look at this. This is my house in the Grand Cayman Islands. I'm going islands. to the Caymans tonight. Yeah, Grand Cayman esque islands. It's not. I'm going to the Caymans. Tonight, yeah, dude. yeah, the Cayman esque. I'm basically there right now. Yeah, look at this one, huh? I got a brownstone in uh, New New Yorkville. What's yeah. that? It's in it's in here. Yep. When where? In here. This no, small here. Well, it's, and happy place <laughs> land. No, it'd be happy place happy land. land. No, it's it's called the Sandbox. <laughs> the Sandbox. Oh God. No, I'm not kidding. This oh, is real. Oh my God. Oh my God! The sandbox is pretty and dope. There, there I am, Matt. That looks like a Lego. <laughs> it looks like a game of Sims. Well, you know, that's me. Beginning it's, stages. I it is the beginning time. stages. Right, Eventually, I'll be in a chair, reclined, with a headset on. Person, I really feel like I'm there. Personally, I, I like the Central Land. That's my like personal this, metaverse oh God, Central choice. Land? The Central Land, I think, is pretty wait, dope. Wait, it's called Decentral. Ooh. Decentral like Land. Like the lovely. No, but the decentralized. Right, but Decentral, Decentral Land. Yeah. Decentral Land. What's That's in pretty there? cool. What's it's like uh, the Manhattan of the of the, the Manhattan of the metaverse. Yeah. Do you know most major corporations have already bought their headquarters in either the Sandbox or Decentraland? They've already all moved over most of their headquarters, and they what even Buffett even the guys this? even the guys that are against it He's all say it? that all business will be done in Decentraland on the metaverse. Yeah. They're just yeah. trying to create a bunch 100%. of precogs. That's what, yeah. that's what nobody know. really... It's really Minority know. Report. Exactly. It Before is. You yeah, know, you'll be, but don't we have a responsibility to... You'll be thinking you're going to be playing an Xbox game, but you'll be really a, predicting a the future. keep it grounded in some way. Like, if we keep selling this Decentraland, like, what... I mean, take a trip to Decentraland? Yeah. Are you kidding me? No, yeah, it's real, right for real. It's Happy Place Land. Happy Place Land. Yeah. Okay. No, it's real. It's really... I'm, I don't like it. We have to understand that Right now, the information stream is has a lot of friction, <sighs> and it's about this Dude, wide of a gap that I all that feel... information can be exchanged between us right. and this new world. Right. I feel like this but is once a... we get it frictionless to can the point I... where it's the size of a 
large stream or river or whatever, Can then I make a it will be here? indistinguishable. I feel like I feel like I feel like what Matt is describing in Decentraland is a whole generation catching up to video games. Yeah. Like yeah, this is what vids are and I've been like <clears throat> kids have been doing like what do you this is what it is. I know. I know. Except, you know, we're we're converging from consoles to PCs to then brain chips. But that'd probably be a good um representation of it since the two major creators of all of this are both gamers. In fact, Vitalik, who came out of so it's basically it's, uh, was it's, it mine, it's, Minecraft it's getting or whatever? A, it's getting a He's bunch a gamer. of gamer. It's getting a bunch of adults on the video game train because I feel like this basically, train has been moving in this direction for a long time with guys like EA and like Rockstar. Yes, and you know what's Cap really I mean you know it's been you know what's really weird about this though, and those guys are fighting it the hardest, and nobody knows why. And I think it's because they're realizing that their cornerstone on the market is, win. is over, <clears throat> is over. Now what, you can't win. Now what the GTA thing encapsulated and why it was yeah. one of the greatest um, IPs of all time when it comes to earning cash. What, Grand Theft Auto? Yeah. They, they don't have control. I like over, that Vice City one. That was they cool. don't have control Vice over City. the market anymore because that's what it is all going to become except it's going to be well, better. You know why? The best one, Because you'll be, you'll be earning real money. Yeah. That's what NFT technology You're does. You're earning real money but in the virtual people. world. You'll be earning everything in the virtual. There'll be an exact replica of this there. So we were doing this podcast in We could do a meta. We could do it. In, in fact, we would just look like Legos. Yeah, Decentraland. In fact, what would we look like? There's a Legos. really good Legos. way to incorporate this and use NF technology with really? this. Yes, because we could allow each and every fan when to you have an actual NFS, I think need for speed. So oh, when you NFT. said NF technology, you're replacing the T with technology. Check out the new need for speed. So if you said way. NFT technology, that would be redundant. I think it's called oh. Unbound. Need you just said speed, NF unbound. technology. So is that I meant NFT? to say NFT technology. I just didn't go far enough with oh, this. Yeah, right. That was just a mistake. Okay. But no, because it, it, here's, here's what the technology does. It makes everything, like, you know how Airbnb has basically all the taken the, the, the hotel industry and staying industry and has put it all up on its head and has yeah. changed everything. Yeah, and yeah, now yeah, the yeah. hotels hate Airbnb. Right, right. It's the same thing Taxes that's happening. Taxes hate Uber. Exactly. Yeah. Damn well, you. That is the same Turf thing there, that's occurring bro. with everything that you own. You could literally make money off of anything and everything with NFT technology. Okay. Guess who? Okay, here's starting to get itchy. This yeah, is okay. where itchy. this well, is where you relate to Let's talk to it. about those XLRs. We're gonna move up. We'll move on. We'll move about the NFTs. We'll move on. Let's talk about the XLRs. We'll move on. But they're the cables. Joe, you're gonna like this. XLR this is maybe how you'll get into NFT technology. Oh, Rolex yeah. just entered Whoa. the metaverse with oh, F with oh. NFTs. Oh, wait a second. You're telling me I can get have a virtual Rolex? You can have better than a Voltro. Virtual, virtual Rolex. Yeah, Wait, and I know it's better than a virtual Rolex. Keep listening. A real Rolex. Yeah, that's what I would want. But here's the thing: what? A, a real Rolex that'll be yeah. worth six times what it's <clears throat> worth, because there's also a digital, a digital replica Keep of it on the metaverse. Listen to this guy; he hasn't been drinking. <laughs> there's a digital version it's of this Rolex. Digitizing. No, I'm the NTs. When you move to decentralization, when you move to decentralization, you're gonna, you're gonna, gonna get a Rolex. Uh, for you're gonna sure. be able to have a Rolex. Now let me. Rolex and a Rolex. Let me bring it back around. You're in there. I don't know if I can trust this. And this guy. table's gonna be worth a lot of money. Guess what? Follow me. This financial advice. Follow me. <laughs> <laughs> to bring it back around, here's what I really no, love. Elon, here's what I really you. love about it. You talk about responsibility. Elon, here he comes. The Pegasus. Responsibility. It allows anybody I mean, I love Elon too, with a connection no, to the internet I got Starlink. to have the same opportunities that anybody else does anywhere on the planet. Right. So what NFTs are really affecting right now mm -hmm. are the third world countries mm -hmm. where they're upending the, the, the currencies there because these kids with an internet connection can now get into the metaverse and play to earn. They can play games mm -hmm. and earn money, which okay. is higher and worth more then their lower income I get that. and their money. Yeah. So kid, now his parents are out there working hard, coming home with pennies and whatever you know uh, like currency that the country is now, right? Now yeah. a kid the good with one. an internet connection you know what I mean? like, how we can go play a game, it's helping kids earn oh, real money. Okay, this is good. Now, perfect example. Yeah. There's a, a guy That's out of so does a job, but I guess no, 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 but no, no. These these jobs are not 
Okay. Available. Real jobs. No, no, no. Jobs. These jobs aren't available in these type no, of I get it. I know. parts See, of the world. Threw it back in my face. Yeah. No, they're not Probably available. My original point, and the is, jobs that are are available, one. they're paying them the literally stuff. fractions of pennies. <sighs> fractions of pennies. People are going home with a couple exactly. pennies a day from a full twelve-hour hard labor work I know. day. It's okay, this stuff t- starts to change all that right. because you now Cheetos from your chair. Now NFT technology. No, Andy, this is serious. It's not something to joke over. Now a kid can take the air out of the room. Yeah. And people can physically like own something. They can actually do something with it. They can own it. They have ownership over something finally yeah. in their life. It actually is, is a very important technology that is going to first help people who, are, who need the help the most. And now let's bring this back around with responsibility. Oh, great. Let's bring it back. Yeah, please. You were out on a, on a, you were out on a peninsula so far. I, I, the yeah, fog started to come in. I lost sight of you. I said to tie this back around, yeah. I want to talk about the responsibility of... NFT technology. Oh my God. And how it's part of us being That's responsible. What the how did I start To allowing everybody to have the same opportunities. How did, how did I start this off today? Wait, right? Very, what very, the, very, the very eloquently, for? I think, as the oldest brother, and how I feel my responsibility was for you guys. I asked you guys to see, I asked you if you felt any responsibility. And we end it with you bringing it back to NFT. Sorry, I just swear my brain's been for the past year and a half, pretty much, and I can't really get it off of it. It's just stuck there. On NFTs? Oh, you don't understand. I mean, I go home, laptop, my Non-fungible treasure comes tokens? out. I'm I'm, I'm ch- taking you Heath, know, putting it into Bid, putting you know, it into Matic. Putting, Heath? You know what a record oh, yeah, I'm scratches? messing around with all Matic. sorts of stuff. And I'm learning you know, all about you know, these Matic companies. Matic is an old series uh, da, 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 that's Matt's brain and verbal skills on <laughs> NFTs and crypto. Every For a year and a half. He's very well versed. A year and a half, it's been. He's very well metaversed. I can't stop thinking about it. Honestly, it's so fascinating. You're very well metaversed. Also, (laughs) when I then found out what the what the stock market does, and it shuts down every day at whatever times, and then it's not open on the weekends, and. Yeah, people have, have pol- lives. Politicians who have <laughs> no, people want to have no. People want to take a boat out or something. No, no, no. That's the not why. No, it's not why. Maybe Bed Bath and Beyond. I don't it's know if they'll so, have time. It's so it can be manipulated. What? The only time. The oh. only reason why the stock market goes dark at any point in time, so they can manipulate it. Don't let anybody tell you anything else. They'll give you a thousand reasons, but that is the real reason. Is when it goes dark, they can manipulate it, mm-hmm. and we've seen it. Our politicians who have gotten their hands caught in the cookie jar. They don't get in trouble. We've got guys, got the guys the who cookie. steal ten billion dollars from you know Main Street, but because he was giving it to the right politician, he's still free and right. can just wander around and do interviews and have puff pieces written on the guy. Right. Right. It's it's unreal. It's in my opinion, it's been exposed on such a a ridiculous level that anybody who can't like go okay, they're then they're they don't choose to see it. They're choosing to avoid it at this point. You put your money on the stock market. Good luck, folks. Yeah. It's manipulated. Yeah. And what I love is that, yes, crypto is completely full and of, of problems right now. There's right, scams. Right, there's right, all right, this. Right, right. But Bitcoin cannot be manipulated by any government or any right. other human on the planet. Right. That blockchain is live 24-7. There's not a second it goes dark. I can see every move that happens at any right. point in time all over the world. Oh. And if somebody comes in there and steals it, they will leave a footmark as if they're walking through fresh powdered snow right to it and right to where they took it. And then it. I will find them. I will hunt them down like so a dog in the middle in, of the night. And... In my opinion, I, it eliminates a bank. Right. Eliminates a government. And by the way, I love the banks. Like crypto is so fraught with scam and fraud and it's used for dark money and drugs. So that's funny. That's really funny because you take our life savings that we put in there yeah. and you loan it out nine times. Say that over there. Nine times. Just like Edward Rooney and Ferris to? Bueller. Nine think- times. He missed school nine no, times? Eight, I, have it, I have it right here. In front seven, of me. Nine, six, five. Grace! Four, great moment, great moment. <laughs> but yeah, nine yep. times, oh, nine times, guys. Do you know if you actually go in the bank so banks and you try right? to take yeah. all of your money out, they'll tell you no. You know why? They don't have it. Wow. They've loaned it out to nine other people. And that's when you Can ask for a cashier's check and the tell the them to waive the Matthew fee. Matthew Lawrence's viewpoints are not ask? shared by either of his brothers. We detach ourselves from anything he says at any point in time. Thank you so much. Just for legal purposes. <laughs> exactly. Yes. <laughs> if you want to hunt someone down, that's the guy. <laughs> I'm all for it. I, I, I'm all for it. Did it point. again, Matt. I've seen so Did much. Did it again. Take one for the team, bro. Yeah, buddy. I've seen so much more fraud with the banks and actual oh, fiat know. cash. No, I, I don't want to hear anybody talking about the fraud of crypto. Well, to your point, you know, yeah, honestly, to your point, if you do have a, you know, a sum of money in a, in a bank account and you go to them on any given day and you're like, 
I want that. They won't give. They it. almost look at you like you're insane. No, they'll, wait, they'll, they'll wait, throw everything they can. What? At you. What are you, you talking about? For We're gonna have to uh, review. What, what do you mean review? This is my. This is my money. This is my money. No, this is my account. Go you know? in, and then and then watch them wiggle in their boots and then tell them that you want a cashier's check and they have to waive the fee because it's their responsibility to provide you with their funds and they have to. Yeah, I know. And no, then no. take Not that. Not over a certain amount, pal. No. They won't give it to you because they don't have it in oh, their bank. No. They have to go, no, Matt, call. That's... They have to get wait, the wait, transfer wait, wait, to bring wait, wait, it back wait, wait, in. Depends before. on how much that money. That's I mean, why got... you yeah. ask for a cashier's check. Yes. And have them waive the fee. Now, what I do is I just ask for any arbitrary amount just to see if they're going to go with Not it. Not to mention. Let's talk about responsibility. Not to mention. Guest is here. If you had made, let's pick a figure. Okay. If you had made smooth, huh? three years ago, $100,000. Right. Okay. And you did what everyone said. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Okay. Oh, boy. Put. 80% of that in your savings account. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You take 5% that you or whatever you need to spend on, put mm-hmm. the rest of 80% in a savings account, take the other 20% for this and that, and that, but you put all that Designer in your savings shoes. account. Do you know if you did that? Stop calling me. Uh, the guest is here. I just wanted to let you know. <laughs> you need to... Hold on. Hold, hold on. on. I'm getting a call. Do you brother. know if you did that? You know if you Hello? Did, you know if you did that? <laughs> you I went to go and you, and didn't, you didn't pay attention. You went back now to your savings account. Yeah. With inflation alone, yeah. you would have lost $20,000 <laughs> of that money already. Wow. Just from it sitting into a bank. Yeah. Well, That's why mine, uh, I like I like jewels. Who's calling Gold. me Gold. Telemarketer. I am. Jewels. Sorry. I like to keep a little chest. Well. Uh, Amulets. Yes. All right, so uh, now is um, actually it's becoming one of my favorite parts of this whole thing that we've been doing, which is being able to talk to people that are calling in, some of our lovers as we call them, and uh, you know figuring out kind of what's going on in their lives here and certain family dynamics that they're going through because everybody that has any sort of family at all is going through dynamics. We that's you know we dive into those each and every week, and uh, we have Rob this week who's calling in, and uh, you know we always like to let you know the people that call in sort of tell us who they are and their story and then we sort of dive into a little conversation about that so and we'll dissect every we'll little thing you say Rob facet and nuance Rob <laughs> so welcome Rob everybody right. to the uh, Brotherly Love uh, podcast um, tell us about yourself Rob and welcome yeah thanks for having me um, yeah I uh, um, what do I do who am I uh, I am um, it's okay, man. We're still figuring I, it out ourselves. Yeah, we don't know who we are. Yeah, it's I change it every day. Yeah. Um, where are you from? Yeah. Where are you from? I hear your accent. I'm from uh, New Jersey, but yeah, born in, we're uh, from Staten Philly. Island. We're yeah, we're from yeah. Abington, so instant. In, yeah. Yep. Nice. Yeah. Cool, bro. Um, you got any siblings, sisters? You got yeah. brothers, sisters, Rob? Yes, yes. I uh, I grew up with two sisters, uh, opposite of you guys. I'm um, kind of in the middle, stuck in the middle. Middle child, um, like Matt. All right. Yeah, he feels your pain. But uh, yeah, we were very close. You know, uh, actually close to like my younger sister when we were younger, and then my older sister now. So like, it, you know, different points of our life were close at different times, which is nice. But uh, it happens. Yeah, us. never. Uh, you know, yeah, it changes as you guys change. You know, yeah, it seesaws um, back and forth. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, never, uh, never cared about. You know, never questioned having your know, brother or anything. You know, I know it's different. You know, but you don't. You get what you get. You know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But, uh, you, get, you don't get upset. I, you don't get to pick your family. They get <laughs> right, given right, to you. Right, You're not right. choosing them. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, I mean, sometimes I think you could choose. Um, I guess that's depending. true. Depending. Yeah. Uh, but um, I've had to cut a lot of people out, so I think I could take people out and add p- new people in, you yeah. know. You can do that. But, uh, yeah, so uh, I, almost 10 years ago, I think it was, I met this kid on a vacation that uh, we took because my, fa- my dad was a fireman, um, and we used to take these cool. trips with all their families. Uh, um, so this year we went to Lake George with about nine families, a whole George. bunch of people in one house. Wow. He is very nice. And uh, one, one fireman brought his uh, daughter and his uh, nephew, who I think he was seven at the time. And he was mostly to himself. He was pretty much the pain in the ass kid of the trip. Uh, but uh, so one day he was like by himself and like, you know, uh, one of the adults told, uh, told me to like go check on him, make sure he doesn't fall in the water or whatnot. What not. So, you know, I checked on him, you know, and then we ended up collecting shells and other stuff. And then I showed him my GoPro and all that stuff. It was new at the time, so I was very uh, interested. And, uh, you know, and then he just followed me around like a, fr- a freaking duck, baby duck, <laughs> the whole rest of the trip. <laughs> you know, I was, you know, I didn't expect that. I was like, I'm trying to stay with the older kids. And then he's got the younger kids, you know, and he just wouldn't leave me alone. Uh, then, you know, never thought I'd see him again, trips over, you know, but then he started showing up at all these different firehouse events and, and he literally just couldn't get rid of him for some reason. <laughs> uh, 
So, and then I, you know, I got his mom's contact information and I started, you know, seeing him and watching him and we got close and, uh, um, and now it's been almost 10 years and he just so happened to move into my neighborhood. Wow. Also random. So it's just like, the, I don't know, fate was just like yeah, man. keeping us together for some reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, so, yeah, I never, I never, I, I, he kind of filled a void I think I didn't know I had, I guess, um, until an older age. But it's just nice to like uh, have that brotherly um, bond so much different from sister bond, you know, especially yeah, yeah. as like an old, you know, my older age now. But uh, yeah, so wow. it's, it's very, really very cool. unconventional story but uh no it's uh it's cool. that's, that's that's really cool you know one of the things that we talk about all the time is that we're so blessed to have each other you know what i mean we don't realize how lucky mm -hmm. we are and we lose sight at a time when we step back from it for a minute to realize that like that bond like you're saying that that just that we you know we talk about a lot of things like about trust and about responsibility and about all these things and you know there's no two people in the whole world i trust more than these guys um, and I feel a responsibility to not only be there for these guys, but do everything I can to help these guys and be an example for these yeah. guys um, as the older one. You know what I mean? And and, and you are the older yeah. one, you know? Um, yeah. So it's, uh, it really is such a special thing. You know what I mean? It's really a special thing. And I absolutely yeah. believe that things happen. Nothing happens by accident. Everything happens for a reason. And even the lows happen for a reason, you know, because you're learning yeah. something from those, from, from, from those times and those moments. And it feels like shit when you're going through it. But when you step back and yeah. you look back on it, you go, that's why that happened. You know, that needed to happen yeah. so I could get here today. Um, yeah. So I, I, I definitely believe in that. And I know, I know the universe does things like that. So I think that, uh, I think that's awesome. And I think that you're going to have that bond forever, you know? Um, yeah. Family is blood sometimes, but sometimes it's not. You know, family yeah, is family. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah. You know what I mean? I'm very, um, uh, I'm very uh, big on that. Yeah, no, um, we are as well. Um, we're just lucky that we have each other. But, you know, we, yeah. we each have a best friend in our life that is like family. You know what I mean? And and yeah. those guys, when they're all out with us, um, and it's, you know, it's six of us or whatever, we're inseparable, you know, truly. Yeah. Like, and uh, it's an amazing thing. It's an amazing thing in this world where technology isolates us, but that kind yeah. of relationship will trump and any any relationship you could ever have with this you know what i mean yeah no matter what no yeah um and that's a very special thing so that's beautiful to hear that's 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 awesome dude. and he and he moved into Thanks. your into your neighborhood which is crazy yeah it, very random it's <laughs> everyone started moving family, from like does he have siblings in his family or he's an only child you said or i, I didn't No, he's yeah he's actually an only child yeah only so, child wow yeah but he lived in Staten Island, and then all the firemen started like migrating to Jersey, and they just happened to pick the same neighborhood. <laughs> How crazy is that, but, uh, man? And yeah, and you guys are still super tight, obviously, right? Yeah, yeah. He's uh, I was his like sponsor for his confirmation like the other year, and he's gonna so cool. get his license soon, teaching him how to drive, kind of. You That's know, so like cool, that. dude. That's great, man. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, I love hearing so that. Cool. So, that is really. Yeah, it's kind great. of a. It's like a mixture of like. A friend, brother, or son. Like I have all these weird, like, yeah, parent, parental, like, you know, stuff in my mind. Yeah. You know, you know, it's funny that you say that. Natural, because Andy and I are eleven years apart, and yeah. and I oh, really, yeah. I really felt like that. Like I had a little brother. Okay, yeah. you know, because Matt and I are three, three years and seven months apart, right? So, but when Andy came along, it was such a different experience for me because I really felt like part dad, part uncle part brother, yeah. and then it morphs as, as we get older now, like yeah. we are all on the same page, you know? But there was a there was a long stretch of time there where I did feel very fatherly, you know, to Andy because, yeah. you know, that's a big gap, especially at certain times of, of, of life. You know, you said he's gonna be yeah. 16, right? You're And you're how much older than him? 12. Right, okay. So yeah. think about that, so, yes, you know. and I know how that feels. So when you're, yeah. you know, when when you're 22 and he's, and he's 10, I mean, that's, you are almost, yeah. you know, you are like an yeah, uncle. It's, it's, you're not a, you're not a friend. Yeah. You are really a much more parental type of figure in his yeah. life, and that's so cool, dude. It's cool. Yeah, it's like it's interesting to balance those like roles. Yeah, you know, it's like you want to like you want to have a good time, but you also want to like you know be responsible, you know, and you absolutely. Know. And think so. about how think about how cool it will be as you go forward in life, and how you guys your ages start to become you know less apparent. And maybe one yeah. day he starts to pick up the slack more with you, and it's yeah. like you know, I mean, yeah. it's so cool. Yeah, I always tell him like, 
once he's over 21, then I think it's going to change a lot, you know? Yeah. yeah. Do no, whatever I think, yeah. and, you know. It, dude, it totally will. Especially as – that's so cool. I, I just remember being a young kid and hanging out with my older brothers and hanging out with their friends and how much it meant to me – them letting me tag along and how yeah. good I felt and how memorable those those times were and how I even formed my own relationships with some of their friends and yeah. there's big age gaps there but still and then just throughout the years how those age gaps they you know like the ebb and flow and sometimes they're more apparent and then sometimes they catch up and eventually you wind up yeah. sort of on even playing field as adults just yeah. going we're going through this crazy journey of life trying to figure it out and it's it's just really fun to have those types of special relationships man dude by the um, by yeah. the That's time cool. by the time you're 45 yeah. and 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 he's 33 it'll be nothing like it, it, yeah, it will exactly. be like you guys are are equals it really will yeah because yeah. andy and i have gotten to that place i mean you know what i mean so yeah. it's just, yeah, I mean, thir you know, 45, 34, it's now nothing. Like there is no age yeah. gap anymore, yeah. you know? And it's yeah. so cool to go through those transitions. And what's really cool is he'll be able to hang out with you guys and have all the fun that he would have as a 21-year-old. But because he's got his older bro there, like you're never going to let it get to a place where he would get hurt or he'd be in danger, which yeah. is if he was out with a bunch of friends that were his True. age, that's very possible. Yeah, true. And you won't let it happen. Yeah. You'll let him have his fun no. and he can be safe yeah. with you, but you're going to be responsible for him. And and you can't always exactly. count on that when people are closer in age, you know? So, no, yeah. Yeah. And one 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 thing that was told to me when I was younger was uh, a, a wise man learns from his mistakes and a wiser man learns from other people's mistakes. Yeah. So watch the mistakes that, you know, the other your older brothers yeah. go through and then learn from them. And, yes. you know, so that's yeah. something, you know, that I think that that also is cool. You have to take the hit for him, <laughs> for your body. No, you know? yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is so cool, man. That's so cool. All right, so Thanks. you're from uh, so from uh, Jersey. That's great, man. That's really cool. Yeah. Are you, yeah. so you're so, close with your sisters, close with your buddy. That's cool, man. Yeah. That's really good to hear. Love it. Yeah, pretty close, close family, which is nice. Us too. Yeah. Us too, man. A blessing Families, for sure. Families it's are important. a blessing important. for sure. All right, yeah. Rob, well, listen, yeah. dude. Thanks so much, man, for calling in. And uh, no sharing your uh, story me. with us, dude. It's always good to hear that. I love seeing that. You know what I mean? Awesome. Yeah. The blending of families, parts of families that aren't necessarily yeah. blood related. It's all family. That's what it's. it's that's what it's, it's all it's about. It's all about love, right? Yeah, it you is. Gotta spread the love no, and share yeah. the love, and, and and that's really yeah. that's. And you're putting these the positions force. sometimes in life where you need to be that person for somebody else that doesn't have that. You know, and clearly yeah. you are for your brother, and that's what's so cool. You know. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> you got it, brother. All right, Rob. Thanks so much. Keep in touch, buddy. Thank yep. you. We'll talk to you soon. All right. Man. All, All right. right. Well. All right. Thanks. God bless, bud. All right, man. Cool. Well, that's kind of cool. That rang, that rang a bell with me just because I really do, especially with like Andy Shaw, yeah, no. Dave, yeah. you know, Steve. Well, but those guys it's so really crazy because he said responsible. Well. You know, yeah. I feel like responsible for him. And we were talking about responsibility. Yeah. yeah. And what I feel, what I felt for you guys, yeah. just responsible. And you I, know? it just smash cuts to Andy Shaw driving and me on his the hood of his Jeep. No. Oh, hanging on. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh my God. We got into a lot of trouble. You're doing great, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah <that's> <laughs> oh, 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 my goodness. I, I, I had a, oh, yeah. God. Oh, that's a heck of a story. There's, yeah. There's, yeah. It's a great story for the Brotherly Love podcast. I, 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 I had a, I had a, I had a, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I had a story that I will not The unplugged. Say, there's Listen, a, there's lovers, an, there's an unplugged if you want to know that story, you know. <laughs> That'll that'll be on the after podcast podcast. The after hours uh, yeah, podcast. Yeah, it definitely will. It definitely will. Wow. That's I, cool. Yeah. That's cool. All right, guys, we're wrapping it up. All right. Another one. Another one in the books. Another yeah, another show in the books. Uh, you can't say we have to write some. Cut. Music. We're done. <laughs> hey, thank you so much for watching this week's episode of the Brotherly Love Podcast. That's right. To watch clips from this week's episode, go to the Brotherly Love Podcast Clips YouTube channel at the link in the description. And for exclusive weekly bonus content, join our Patreon. The link is also in the description. That's right. We will see you next week. week.